Bruce, Art Attack! <laughs> there. Now then, what do you reckon is the easiest way of remembering important dates? Buy a calendar? Keep a diary? Nah. Use a big ruler. Look at this. The 13th of the 6th. It's the date I'm going on holiday. Come on, have a look at this. Now, you need to lay your hands on a bigger piece of cardboard as you can possibly find. Best way of doing this? Old cardboard box from a supermarket. Tear it open and then cut yourself a strip of cardboard that's four times the length of an ordinary ruler and four times the width of an ordinary ruler. Like that. And then if you've still got the folds from the cardboard box in there, just strengthen them up with a bit of tape, like that, so it's nice and strong. And then cut yourself another strip of cardboard that's the same length as that fat strip, four times the length of an ordinary ruler, but this time it's got to be half the size of your first piece, like that. And then lay it down the middle, and then either tape it into place or glue it into place. And when you've done that, you'll have something that looks like that. And there it is, that's your basic ruler shape. Now mix some PVA glue with some water. Two parts glue, one part water, and then just slop some onto your big ruler, like that. And then, you've seen me do this many times before, I'm sure, lay on some tissue paper or some um, loo roll. And you can just slop on your PVA glue and water on top of it like that. Just paste it down onto your cardboard. And I love doing this, you know, because it gives you a good surface to paint on afterwards and it makes your work nice and strong. I'll just do another one there to show you, just laying it on top. And you can cover the whole thing, take a bit of time to do it. Do it back and front and along the sides. Just dabbing it into those cracks and creases. Leave it to dry when you've completed it. And when it's dry, whoops, you'll have something It's fighting back here that looks like that. There it is. You see the PVA glue and tissue paper have gone rock hard and you have a nice solid surface to paint on. Now to paint it, you can use acrylic paint or poster paint, any colour you like. I'm using brown to give it a nice old fashioned wooden ruler effect. And I have to admit, I the rulers were like that when I went to school. I'm just slopping on the paint here. You can take a bit more time again doing this. Cover the whole ruler, back and front. And when it's painted, leave it to dry and you'll have something that looks like that. Look at that again, a nice wooden finish. And now to put on your numbers. Now to do this, use a pencil first in case you make a mistake so you can always rub it out a little later on. And start by marking a point that's roughly one centimetre from the edge. Now, to put on your big inches, if you think about it, if your big ruler is four times the size of an ordinary ruler, then each big inch will be four inches wide. So, there's four inches, so there's one big inch, and there's two big inches, and there's three big inches. You just continue and put all 12 on. And then for your quarter inches, of course your quarter big inches will be one inch wide. So there are some quarter big inches. And as for the eighths, well, they're so small, you can just guess them. Just put them in like that. I'm going to write on here, not inches, but months. 12 inches, 12 months. There it is. And it's a good idea then to take your ruler and see what other markings there are on it. Now, don't forget, when you put your centimetres on, you've got to put 31, because some months have 31 days in them. And you could also put on the make of the ruler and all the other markings. And when it's finished, you'll have something that looks like that. And if you see, I've gone over it here in black permanent marker. And I've even put my name on and the make of the ruler. There it is, Art Attack. And it all adds to that authenticity. And then take two of these big plastic paper clips that you can get from stationery shops, not very expensive, and slip one on to one side to mark the months, just slip it on, and one on the other side to mark the days. And there it is, 
your big ruler. And then you can hang it on your bedroom wall or your door and use it as a calendar and change it every day just by slipping the paper clips up and down. Or you could just use it to mark specific important dates like um, <clears throat> the 14th of the second <laughs> Valentine's Day. Try it yourself, a big ruler. Hello, yes, it's me again, the head. Now, if you're going to make the big ruler, make sure your cardboard is four times the length and four times the width. Then cover it all in toilet roll and PVA glue, and when it's dry, paint it. Oh, and remember to base it on a long ruler. Otherwise, you only have half a month and half a year. <laughs> Ooh.